How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. Today we're going to look at JavaScript objects. This is a good resource for JavaScript objects. It's the W3Schools website. I urge everyone to check this out before you continue with the video. Objects are basically things uh, and it's a good way to encapsulate. So objects are a good way to encapsulate what we call in programming properties and methods. In other words, the characteristics and the actions on that object. So for example, if we look at this car, this is our object. These are certain properties that you can modify on that object. Some of those properties, think of properties as like adjectives. They describe the object. So in this case, the name is is the Fiat model 500 weight 850 kilograms and the color is white so as you and you can see that there's an equal sign you know showing that you're uh, applying a certain characteristic or property to that object now methods on the other hand are the actions or think of them as like the verbs because there's actions you will always see or you know you'll see a lot of times you'll see um, uh, double parentheses actually I think in all programming languages in order to use a method use an objects method you will ha you will see these double um, parentheses and what that means you know and for example I should say you have car dot star car dot drive and so on and so forth so in this lesson what we're going to be doing is we will be creating a hello world with objects so we have a client and I already filled in some information here and I, uh, so I have the first name last name address city state and zip of this client and when I click submit we will output the full name and the full address but in but we will be using objects uh, actually we'll be using one object um, and we will be outputting that information there and at first you're just like you look at this and you're like okay I could do this real easily just by you know without using objects but the whole point is so you to for you to see the power of objects and what we can do with them and future projects and um, programs will have objects uh, more in you know be used more so also uh, real world programs use objects or classes all the time so um, classes we don't really use them in JavaScript but it's kind of similar so for now you don't have to worry about the term classes we're just looking at the term objects so let's take a look at our code so here is our code and we pretty much have uh, some HTML here uh, some uh, text boxes for the first name last name and so on and so forth I already programmed the clear text uh, function for you that which will clear all the values uh, from those text boxes and so here let's start creating um, let's create an object so I'm going to press enter so now my the name of my object is going to be client so I just start by using the var uh, keyword and I'm going to type the name client equal squiggly line and um, one of my client ob so this is my object so this is how I create an object okay and one of the um, properties of my object of my client object is going to be first name and then I'm going to use document actually before I do that 
let me just show you what you can do so if I were to go to so here's how I can create my objects I can actually just type in all the different values for those uh, objects so we could define right we're defining our object in this case uh, the object is person and we're setting the properties and we're setting values to those properties okay so I like this example because it kinda makes it a little clearer alright so we're gonna do the same thing but this time we are going to be uh, obtaining our values from the user okay and you guys should already be familiar with this alright so we're gonna I'm just gonna add um, I'm gonna just add two ve two pair uh, two properties and I'm gonna have you do the rest okay so I have two properties right now uh, first name and last name and what I'm gonna do is create a method and in order to create a method I'm actually gonna create a function and I like to just add some spacing here just to make it easier for me so whenever you call the function or this method actually I should say it's gonna return and we're using the word this which uh, pretty much is gonna stand for client depending on what um, object we're in but in this case we're in the client object so it's gonna re this will refer to that to the client object so return this dot fir first name Plus, I'm going to create some space there. This dot last name. Okay, and we're going to end with a semicolon. Now, this is super, super important. Let's suppose you're going to add another function, which you will. You're going to want to put a comma and then start typing you know your other function which is probably going to be address because that's just that I'm going to have you do that for now I'm going to do the, I'm going to change it like I'm going to leave it like this okay so pretty much all I'm creating is this client object with a property name first name a property name last name we're already getting the values from the user we're creating a method called full name which is actually a function which returns back the client's first name along with some space and the client's last name and now we have document that get element by ID alright and here we are going to call that function the full name function and the way to call it, it was, we use client which is our object dot full name and we don't forget to use the parentheses like so let's save it okay I think I hope everything's fine let's refresh alright just for simplicity purposes I'm gonna submit and there it is now it includes my entire 
my, you know, my full name. So now your job is to finish it off, do um, address, city, state, zip, complete the properties address city state zip create another function called address which returns uh, the clients full address and it outputs the full address uh, on, on line and currently in line 15 uh, right after the clients full name okay um, We'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this short video on objects.